Israel is possibly the most controversial country in existence. When there are global events like wars, it is talked about, and when the situation is peaceful, it is also discussed. Despite its relatively small population and territory, it houses a large part of human history, sacred places of the three main monotheistic religions of the world, and is one of the most powerful and rapidly progressing countries. It has made countless scientific and technological contributions while being at the center of a permanent conflict in its region. Today, I will tell you about life in this country, the customs and traditions of the Jewish people, what you should avoid doing if you visit, where to see the church where Jesus Christ's tomb is believed to be, and much more. 1. Israel is one of the youngest sovereign states in the world, and at the same time, its creation is based on one of the oldest documents, the ancient scriptures collected in the Old Testament. Israel declared its independence in 1948 following the Arab-Israeli War of the same year. After the end of World War I, Palestine emerged, in whose territory there were Muslims and Jews who entered into constant conflict until the end of the war in 1948. This is when the Nakba or Palestinian Exodus began, and since then both states have been in conflict. Currently, the state of Palestine has limited international recognition and is located in two regions bordering Israel, the West Bank and the Gaza Strip. 2. It is the only Jewish state in the world and is one of the most successful countries for several reasons. The first significant Jewish diaspora occurred in 586 BC, known as the Babylonian Exile. After the Babylonians conquered the kingdom of Judah, some of the Jews were deported into slavery. Jews have been a minority in the countries where they have lived, and this has given them an incentive to excel. Because they are a minority, they also have a strong social network that allows them to help each other prosper in personal and professional life. On the other hand, they are always prepared for war due to external threats. And because they have few natural resources, they place greater importance on educational and human development, like countries such as Japan, Taiwan, or Singapore. Finally, because they have a relatively small territory, they have a high concentration of talented people, which makes innovation and intellectual cultivation easier. 3. Israel is the only country in the world that has managed to revive a dead language. After the Jewish diaspora, the population began to use other languages, and Hebrew continued to be used only for religious matters. With Jewish nationalism, Zionism, Hebrew began to be recovered and is now the official language of the state. Aramaic, on the other hand, is close to extinction and is spoken only in some localities in Syria. Both languages are written from right to left and from top to bottom. The Old Testament was written in Hebrew, and many common names have their origin in it, such as Sarah, Mary, Anna, Michael, John, or Raphael. 4. Zahal is the name for the Israeli Defense Forces, and they have not lost a war. Despite its small population, it has one of the most powerful armies in the world, surpassing countries with many more inhabitants, such as Canada, Spain, Vietnam, Thailand, Mexico, or Argentina. Its army is among the top 20 most powerful in the world, and among these, Israel is the only country with less than 10 million inhabitants. It is believed that the Israeli state has atomic weapons, between 80 and 400 nuclear warheads, and possesses the capability to use them with airplanes, missiles launched from submarines, and intermediate and intercontinental ballistic missiles. They also excel in the design and manufacture of drones, such as the Heron TP, the Hermes 900, the Tactical Heron, or the Bird's Eye 650. 5. If you go to Israel, walk the streets of Jerusalem or the beaches of Tel Aviv, and see people with weapons, don't be alarmed. Military service is compulsory, and it is common for Israeli men and women to carry out daily activities while carrying weapons and wearing military clothing. Men serve for a minimum of 32 months, and women serve for 24 months. They can serve in numerous units, mountaineering, underwater combat, the Oketz unit, Shayatet 13, Sayeret Matkal, Skylark unit, Yahalam unit, among others. 6. Among the Israeli special units, 
Shiatet 13 stands out, specializing in sabotage operations, maritime intelligence, rescues, boarding, and land and sea incursions. Another unit is the Skylark, which operates drones or unmanned aerial vehicles, specialized in reconnaissance, surveillance, rescue, search, or transport. There is also the Elite Moran Unit, which has participated in all wars and operations since its formation in 1982. The activities of this unit are classified, and according to Israel, they can locate and destroy targets 12.4 miles away. 7. It is one of the most technologically advanced countries, having more than 4,000 companies in this sector. 60 of the 500 largest technology companies in the world are Israeli, only behind the United States and China. And Israeli workers and companies have contributed to the creation of Apple hardware and products from Google, Intel, Microsoft, among other large corporations. This is due in part to the state spending a good portion of its resources on research, excellent Israeli education, and possibly the competitiveness that characterizes the country and its citizens. 8. It is the second country with the most students going to university, only behind Canada. Universities function as teaching and research centers, educating students to take the initiative to research and develop entrepreneurship skills. On the other hand, culturally, great value is placed on education, and adults encourage it in their children from a young age. 9. There are a series of things you should not do in Israel or that you should know. Don't talk about politics. Due to the history of Israel and the Jews and their constant conflicts, it is a complex topic that can lead to misunderstandings. It is also advisable to know about kosher foods, which are those allowed in Jewish tradition. Kosher animals are ruminants with split hooves and do not crawl through the sand. Hare, camel, and pork cannot be eaten, and products derived from them are also not allowed. But there are other rules, such as Jews can only eat kosher food prepared by Jews, meat and dairy products cannot be mixed, or that each kitchen utensil must be used to cook a particular food. Also, do not touch Orthodox Jews of the opposite sex, as the laws of Orthodox Judaism forbid contact with members of the opposite sex except for husband, wife, relatives, or children. 10. Something very important is not to go exploring nature in Israel. It is a country in conflict, and there may be mines. Also, dress modestly without showing too much, as there are many places considered sacred. On the other hand, it is advisable not to carry religious books or writings in Arabic that could make you a suspect. 11. The Hebrew calendar is lunisolar. It is based on the moon's movement around the Earth for the month, and the Earth orbiting the sun for the year. It begins with Genesis, the first book of the Torah, and the Old Testament, and consists of an algorithm of astronomical and mathematical calculations. The Gregorian year 2020 is equivalent to the Hebrew year 5780. 12. Yom Kippur is the holiest day in Judaism, known as the day of repentance, forgiveness, and atonement. It falls on the 10th day of the Jewish month of Tishrei. On this date, a fast of about 25 hours is observed as a way to show repentance for the wrongs committed in the past year. A large part of the Israeli population does not follow this Jewish tradition, but they do not drive, the streets are empty, and stores and restaurants are closed. 13. If you go to a restaurant in Israel, leave a tip. It is expected as waiters rely more on tips than their salaries. If you are happy with the service, it is customary to leave 15% of the price of the meal or more, and if you are not satisfied, at least 10%. 14. For Israel, its official capital is Jerusalem, and like the rest of the country, it is considered the Holy Land. In the Six-Day War of 1967, Israel conquered the eastern part of Jerusalem, and later declared it the eternal and indivisible capital. However, as a punishment for this annexation, the countries of the United Nations moved their embassies to Tel Aviv, which is the country's financial center. In 2018, by an order from Donald Trump, the U.S. Embassy was moved to Jerusalem. 15. Jerusalem is considered a holy city by the three major religions of the world, Christianity, Islam, and Judaism. It is the third holiest city in Islam, where Muslims believe the Prophet Muhammad ascended to heaven, and where early Muslims initially faced when praying before turning towards Mecca.
16. If you go to Israel, keep in mind that etiquette rules will vary depending on whom you interact with. Most of the population has a Western behavior, but there is also a Muslim population. Remember that for a Muslim, the left hand is considered impure and is only used for personal hygiene, unlike for a Jew or a Christian. 17. In Jerusalem, there is the Jewish cemetery on the Mount of Olives, one of the oldest in the world still in use. It has more than 150,000 graves, some of which are over a thousand years old. 18. The Western Wall, or the Wailing Wall, is the holiest site in Judaism. It is located in Jerusalem and is believed to have been built in 19 BC by Herod the Great. The site once housed the first Jerusalem Temple, or Solomon's Temple, which was destroyed by the Babylonians, and the second, which was destroyed by the Romans. Some consider the term Wailing Wall derogatory and use the name Western Wall instead. It is estimated that every year, Jews who come to pray leave more than 9 million prayer notes to God or personal wishes. Due to this volume, a rabbi collects the notes twice a year and burns them near the Mount of Olives. 19. Israel's Postal Service has a special Letters to God department for all the letters addressed to God that arrive in Jerusalem from around the world. They are opened and placed in the cracks of the Western Wall, totaling nearly one million per year. 20. In Jerusalem, the Church or Basilica of the Holy Sepulchre, also known as the Church of the Resurrection, is the holiest site in Christianity. It is believed to house the tomb where Jesus Christ was placed after the crucifixion. Although no one controls the main entrance to the basilica, two Arab families have held the privilege of opening and closing the building's door for centuries the Muslim Nusebe family and the al Gudia Jude family. Their descendants are the ones who currently hold the privilege of guarding the door. 21. Inside the Church of the Resurrection is a small structure known as the Edicule, which is believed to contain the tomb of Jesus Christ. The cave within the Edicule was discovered by the Romans, and the church was built during Emperor Constantine's reign. The sacred rock belonging to the tomb that Christian pilgrims have visited for centuries was covered. But it was recently exposed so that the walls can be seen through a window. 22. According to the Bible, Jesus was born in Bethlehem, which is now in Palestinian territory, 6.2 miles south of Jerusalem. The Church of the Nativity was built over the cave where Jesus is said to have been born, and it is open to the public today. There is usually a long line to descend into the cave where the birthplace is believed to be. 23. In Israel, there are Jews of various origins. The Ashkenazim from Germany, Central and Eastern Europe. The Sephardim descendants of the ancient Jews, expelled from the Iberian Peninsula during the reign of the Catholic monarchs. And the Mizrahim from the Middle East and North Africa. There are also African Jews, those from Ethiopia, called Black Israelites. 24. Mea Sharim can be considered the most ideologically unique neighborhood in modern-day West Jerusalem. It is home to the ultra-Orthodox Haredi Jews, who are easily recognizable by their black suits with matching hats, bushy beards, and long, curly sidelocks known as payas. 25. The cap worn by Jewish men is called a kippah and is made of fabric or wool. It serves as a reminder that God is constantly above the wearer. 26. Israel's fertility rate is quite high compared to other developed countries, with almost three children per woman. Israeli policies contribute to this, with benefits for mothers, and the high religiosity of the population also plays a role. Cultural and religious norms include getting married and having children. Additionally, ultra-Orthodox Haredi Jews have many children, with their women having a remarkable fertility rate of seven children per woman. The religious cultural norm of having several children is so entrenched in Israel that even older working women choose to have them. As a result, Israel is one of the few developed countries experiencing rapid population growth. Unlike countries with severe birth rate crises, like Spain, Italy, Greece, Japan, or South Korea. 27. The average salary in Israel is just over $3,000 per month, or around 12,000 Israeli shekels, which is well above the global average. 
However, the cost of living is also quite high. The belief that all Jews are rich is widespread, although this is more of a myth that may have spread as part of propaganda by certain groups and countries. It is true that there are very wealthy individuals from Jewish families, such as Sergey Brin, one of the founders of Google, and Mark Zuckerberg, the founder of Facebook. But in the United States, Jews are only about 4 or 5 percent wealthier than the average American, and around 10 percent have incomes below the average. 28. Israel is home to the Earth's lowest freshwater lake. This is the Sea of Galilee, which has a maximum depth of 157 feet and is 695 feet below sea level. From Jerusalem, you can also visit the planet's lowest saltwater lake, the Dead Sea, which is located 1,427 feet below sea level. 29. Hanukkah, or the Festival of Lights, is celebrated in Israel to commemorate the dedication of the Second Temple of Jerusalem and the Maccabean Revolt. It lasts eight days, beginning between late November or during December, depending on the Hebrew lunisolar calendar. The nine-branched candelabrum, or menorah, which appears on the country's emblem, is lit during the festival. 30. Israelis consume around 23 million sufganiyat during the religious holiday of Hanukkah, or the Festival of Lights. Sufganiyat are round donuts that are first fried and then filled with jam or cream, topped with glazed sugar. 31. Israel has the most museums per capita in the world, with 280 museums and counting. Major art, archaeology, and science museums, such as the Tel Aviv Museum of Art, the Tower of David in Jerusalem, and the Eilat Underwater Observatory attract millions of visitors each year. 32. It has its own Stonehenge. This is the archaeological site Gilgal Refaim in Hebrew, or Ruhum El Hir in Arabic a series of concentric circles ending in a four-and-a-half-meter-high mound, all made up of over 42,000 basaltic stones that are more than 5,000 years old. 33. In the city of Ashkelon, the largest ancient dog cemetery was discovered, with more than 1,300 dog skeletons, mostly Canaan breed puppies, buried between the 5th and 3rd centuries BCE. 34. Jewish Passover or Hebrew Passover is called Pesach and celebrates the Jews' escape from slavery in Egypt. The holiday begins on the 14th day of the Hebrew month of Nisan, lasts seven days, and forbids the consumption of fermented grain-derived foods, called chametz. The custom is to eat an unleavened bread called matzah. 35. When a boy or girl reaches what is considered personal maturity, Israelis celebrate the bar mitzvah, a ceremony in which the child publicly reads the sacred Jewish scriptures, the Torah. The age at which Israelis consider one responsible for their actions is 13 years for boys and 12 for girls. 36. In Israel, all homes must have a security room, or Merkav Mugan, capable of withstanding chemical and biological weapon attacks. This was established following the 1991 Gulf War, when Israel was attacked by Iraqi Scud missiles. 37. Despite its relatively low population, this country has produced eight Nobel Prize winners in sciences and one in literature. Moreover, the country leads the world in per capita scientific publications. 38. In Israel, there is no civil marriage, although the Israeli Ministry of the Interior recognizes civil marriages performed outside its borders. The only recognized marriage is religious, regardless of the religion practiced. 39. The New Year in Israel, or Rosh Hashanah, is celebrated in September or October, depending on the Hebrew month of Tishrei. It commemorates the day Elohim, or God, created the world and the celebration begins with the sound of the shofar, a ram's horn, during the morning prayer, candles are lit, and feasts are held. 40. Palwin wine is Israel's oldest brand. It was first produced by the Palestine Wine and Trading Company, established in 1898. The different types of blends of this wine are identified with numbers, which refer to different Israeli bus routes. 41. 
The so-called White City in Tel Aviv is a UNESCO World Heritage Site in recognition of the more than 4,000 Bauhaus or international-style buildings constructed in the city during the 1930s and 1940s. Tel Aviv has the largest number of Bauhaus buildings in the world. 42. The seventh day of the week and sacred day in Israel is the Sabbath which is celebrated from Friday sunset until the appearance of three stars on Saturday night. No work should be done on this day. 43. Israel has its own martial art, Krav Maga, or Contact Combat, the official fighting and self-defense system used by the Israeli Defense and Security Forces. It was developed by Emi Lichtenfeld, a Czechoslovakian Jew, starting in the 1930s. 44. In Jerusalem's Malha neighborhood, there is a biblical zoo where you can find animals mentioned in the Hebrew Bible. It is also famous for its success in breeding endangered animals. 45. The famous German scientist Albert Einstein, an icon of science, was Jewish, and in 1952 he was offered the presidency of Israel, but he declined. His argument was that he lacked both the natural aptitude and the experience to deal properly with people. 46. Due to the prohibition of cooking on the Sabbath, there are slow cooking styles to prepare a dish the day before that remains warm. These include the Ashkenazi cholent and the Sephardic hamin or chamin. 47. The second largest bath complex in the entire Roman Empire was built in Israel. Spa lovers can relax in ancient style at the 2,000-year-old complex in Hamat Gadar. 48. Matkat, which means rackets in Hebrew, is a popular paddle game in Israel similar to beach tennis, which Israelis often refer to as their national beach sport. 49. Israelis have a word for someone who is easily manipulated, freyer, which means fool. Israelis like to always get the best of everything, the cheapest price, the best quality, the fastest route. 50. Throughout the country, there are 180 McDonald's, of which only 50 are under kosher supervision, so they close on the Sabbath and Jewish holidays. The world's first kosher McDonald's opened in Mavasarit Zion in October 1995. 51. In Israel, you'll find one of the few underwater restaurants in the world, the Red Sea Star, located 16.4 feet below the waters of the Red Sea. It can accommodate up to 105 diners. 52. It is the only country in the world that has more trees today than it did 50 years ago due to its environmental policy of turning naturally desert areas into orchards and forests. 53. Israel is one of the few nation states that lack a constitution. The fundamental laws are constitutional texts approved by the Knesset or Israeli parliament as chapters of a future constitution, as there is still no agreement on the formal writing of such a document. 54. In Acre, which was the great and last stronghold of the Crusaders in the Holy Land, you can explore the halls and tunnels built by the Knights Templar. And if you want to discover another country that is unique in the world, visit this video about Iceland. Write in the comments other curiosities if you have visited Israel, give us a like if you enjoyed it, and subscribe with the notification bell.